Ninoy chose to return to the Philippines. Why? So that he can, he can unite the opposition to amplify the voice of dissent. The bullet that snapped his life gave birth to people power in 1986. And his voice of dissent reverberated all around the world. Forty years ago, Nino Yakino said, the Filipino is worth dying for. And then, right after 86, right after his martyrdom, three years later, his widow, Cory Aquino, said, the Filipino is worth living for. And then, in 2010, the son of Nino Aquino became president because he said, the Filipino people is worth fighting for. Um, today is a, a solemn day, but also a, a great day for, um, for memory and, and honoring a man who not just uh, fought for his people, for his country, and for democracy. <laughs> 